Hey guys, it's me Olivia, back with another video again, and today I'm going to be doing my April plan with me for my bullet journal. April's theme is galaxies, constellations, and stars, with an accent color of purple. I'm using this watercolor effect with my tumble dual brush pens and some water as I blend it together. I absolutely loved how this color page turned out. And I'm just going to let it dry so the water can evaporate and I'm moving on to the page beside it to do my mini calendar. Here I'm also doing the same watercolor effect too. The colors that I'm using is 620 and 335. With a white gel pen, I am adding in the constellations of the Big Dipper and the Orion. My camera decided to stop recording, so that's why the big change is there. But for the other page, I'm using a Tombow Fudinosuke brush pen and filling out my mini calendar. I'm also adding accents with my Tombow Fudinosuke brush pen and my white gel pen by adding stars and other constellations. Moving on to my calendar overview, I'm using my Tombow dual brush pen and I'm writing April and blending it with some water. At first, I was trying to go with a drop shadow effect, but then I just didn't like it, so I just outlined the whole thing, and to me, it looks a lot more better. I'm drawing in the Libra constellation, and I definitely fixed this part up a lot. I first made it white, and then black, and then white, and then black, so I stuck with black. Here, I'm adding in the constellation of Scorpio, and adding accents with a white and black gel pen. I'm using a lilac mild liner to fill in the rectangles for the days of the week and outlining those rectangles with a black gel pen. I'm adding in 30 more boxes for the month and I drew so many lines you have no idea. Last month I didn't really like the layout and how it was and I didn't really keep up with it because I just really didn't like the layout and I feel like this is more minimalistic and I feel like I'm going to be using it a lot more. Here I'm just erasing a few things and using my Tombow dual brush pen to add in tiny dots for where I'm going to be adding in the dates of the month. At the bottom I just have a section for next month and I'm just adding in the dates of the month. Here I'm using my Tombow Fidonosuke brush pen and adding in the days of the week. This next page here is a quote page and it's by Galileo and it says, I have loved the stars so fondly to be fearful of the night. And I just love this quote and I love how it has this really cool ring to it. And at the bottom, I have my constellations again. I have this background of the Tombow dual brush pen and blending it with water. And the constellations that I have is Draco and Cypress, I believe. And I also add in accents with a black gel pen and a white gel pen. This next page, I wanted to draw out all the zodiac constellations for this month because I wanted to get back into drawing. So I just drew all the 12 names of the zodiac constellations and some days I will be filling out each one. My zodiac symbol is a Capricorn, so comment down below what zodiac symbol you are. This next page is my mood tracker. In the center, I have this quote by Stephen Hawking in honor of him. So it says, without imperfection, neither me nor you would exist. And I thought that was such a great quote because we should always strive to do our best but not strive to be perfect. And I thought it was just such a great quote. Here I am drawing 30 sections for 30 days and each section for a day will be colored in the corresponding color in the bar. So I have six kind of colors for six different types of moods. For my habit tracker, I went with a different layout this time. So I went in with boxes instead of like a line. And I actually really like how this page turned out. 
I had to draw so many lines and I had to just do a lot of things on this habit tracker. In the middle, I have more constellations, which are Hercules, Caps, Vesophia, and Perseus. Here I'm going with my Tombow Finonosuke brush pen and just adding in habit tracker. I also drew another constellation at the top, and I think it is the lynx. I'm using my Tombow Duo brush pen to add in a wash of the background for my titles. And here I'm just using my Tombow Finonosuke brush pen to add in my titles for each of my habits. Here I am drawing in my constellations. And finally, we went to the part I was starting to do. So basically, I had to write out all the numbers for each of the days in each of the boxes. And I had to draw or write to 140 numbers, which is insane. I'm just correcting in a few things and adding in the dates for my mood tracker and using my Tombow dual brush pen to add in a ring of color. For my weekly setup, I used a lilac mild liner and drew this type of banner thing, but then I resulted to use a rectangle and this indicated what week it was. Then I used a Tombow Fudenosuke brush pen and used it to do some calligraphy for the days of the week. And I used my Tombow dual brush pen to add in a pop of color. Using the same Tombow Fudenosuke brush pen, I added in boxes and filled it with the dates of the month with white gel pen. I added a quote which says, when it rains, look for rainbows. When it's dark, look for stars. And added a constellation of the Big Dipper. I drew stars hanging from strings under the days of the week, and I loved how this turned out. So here's my flip through. I have my cover page, my monthly overview page, my quote page and zodiac constellation page, my mood and habit tracker, and finally my weekly spread.